Um, hello to everyone. Uh, welcome and thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to do presentation about our LLM program, Master of Laws program at American University of Central Asia. Uh, my name is Camila Matieva and I'm the director of the LLM program, which uh, uh, together with the head of the LLM program, actually we initiated that program to launch in 2016 in cooperation with our partner universities. I would like to share a video Firstly, video with all of you, and I really apologize that a couple of minutes, or a couple of seconds, might have the Russian language, but everything is also have the information written in English. But I, of course, I will be able to comment on that afterwards within my presentation. So let me share. Can you see? Okay, thank you. Uh, I will also. Can you hear? Магистратура по юриспруденции Американского университета Центральной Азии – это уникальная программа, которая начиналась, я думаю, как одна из исключительных и впервые появилась в Центральной Азии. Я Валерий Сарандреа, и я профессор в Американском университете Центральной Азии, и в то же время я работаю с ЮНИСЕФ как chief of child protection. My experience spans over three continents and 20 years, where I have worked with international organizations, European Union and United Nations, and also teaching. And I'm very much looking forward to meeting you at the AUC. Our students may undertake internships in state bodies, including courts. Uh, they take internships in inter-district courts and district courts of Bishkek, uh, where they uh, may act as assistants uh, of, of secretaries of the court hearings, uh, so uh, they may see the real cases. Our program provides an opportunity to study not only in AUCA, Kyrgyzstan, but also outside of the country. Currently, we have several agreements with partner universities, uh, Indiana University, Robert Marquini School of Law at Indianapolis, uh, Nicholas Ramirez University, Lithuania, and European Humanities University. This gives a chance to our students to get a license to sit for bar exam in the United States. This is a great advantage because our students have a chance to practice law both in the Kyrgyz Republic and the United States. I would like to say in Kyrgyzstan for their study our faculty in cooperation with the Faculty of Business Administration has to offer a dual degree, one in law and other one in business administration. Over the last years, a number of students, brilliant students I had, managed to do internship and careers with international organizations. And I very much look forward to have students that will have the ability to grow professionally and to contribute to the development of peace with international organizations and possibly the United Nations. Students uh, involved in many areas of studies. I'm very welcome to actually get you guys involved and understand the MBA LLM program in Outsa. This was basically some brief introduction to our uh, program, and and, uh, and I would be very glad to share the presentation itself and tell you a few words um, about our program, the curriculum, and what do we do so far within the program, um, and what are the opportunities that students might have. Of course, um, the LLM program is Master of Laws, and we all know that um, majority of students from in majorly in Central Asia uh, come from Kyrgyzstan, but we still have around 30, 35% of students who come from different parts of the world. And in this regard, we do understand that since the law discipline is a mononational system, meaning that if you study in that country, you study the law of that country. The Master of Laws is uh, built in, um, the curriculum is built in a way so that the students might still 
and study other jurisdictions and in general international in general law jurisprudence and international law so that by coming back home they will be able to use and apply the knowledge and skills they receive in our program so uh, what are the advantages of our program so far? Uh, as it was mentioned in the uh, video, with the target, we really wanted to introduce dual degree programs so that the students who have international background would not think about that they would come and study only Kyrgyz law or Central Asia law. No, that the approaches and the knowledge we give would be would would allow students to get not only one but two degrees. And this, in this regard, if they get two degrees, they will be able to practice law not only in one country but but in its own country or maybe somewhere else, such as for instance the United States. So the advantages uh, is first the partner school. Secondly, of course, we try to recruit an outstanding international faculty as long, and of course the local ones are also have uh, all uh, foreign, usually Western LLM and PhD degrees. And, and um, just a few examples of our partner schools, professors who come and teach intensive courses on a yearly basis. Um, so we have, for instance, Dr. Professor uh, Frank Emmert from Indiana University who comes every spring semester to teach a couple of the courses such as international commercial arbitration, international business transaction. We have uh, Max Hoffman, who is also from the Indiana University, who teaches competition law, antitrust law uh, as well, um, sometimes in fall, sometimes in spring. That depends upon how we will build up the schedule. And we have Another also very well known professor in the area of the human rights, Professor Leonard Hammer from the University of Arizona, who we build up another partner program, which about which I will talk about, and who is also teaching a couple of law classes at our university. So, uh, and of course, besides that, we have other faculty, but I was just trying to elaborate that uh, in majority, we try to recruit people from uh, international background because we really care about our students to learn not only mononational system, but international. So the curriculum is based on the two-year program. Uh, the prog these two years goes very fast, <laughs> but if you want to uh, have it less, uh, that there might be some options to cut the semester and the load of the student, but it, it is all based on the individual basis. Overall, it's a two years program, the 120 credits. Uh, usually we have evening classes because students might have uh, opportunity or maybe they are already working. And plus it's a hybrid of evening classes. We also add up some intensive courses. Uh, for such international faculty who cannot come for the whole semester. Plus, we try to offer the weekend classes as well, so that some students who are working full time during the whole week, they basically take the weekend classes where they can majorly focus on their studies without any interruption or from their work. So these are the sample courses. Of course, uh, I could give you the information about what courses we have, but I think it's available on, on website. You can get acquainted with that. The general just out understanding of what, what we're teaching, the philosophy of law, legal research and analysis, advanced issues in public international law, law and economics, comparative law in the changing world. These are the courses which you can study actually in every single country and they will represent all, almost all this, the same content. And these are the required courses, but you can also, uh, along the required courses, you have an option to take elective courses. With respect to the elective courses, we try to, uh, recruit the courses which are upon the demand of the employers currently, specifically from the international organizations, some companies, banks, because we really try to target the courses which are uh, are nowadays on the demand. Like for instance, the blockchain course, which we just introduced right now. Well, not right now for this couple of years, because right now the internet and the international sales within the internet is, is an important um, part of the business. So a few words about dual degrees. These are the, our partner schools. I put the pictures because usually students like it. It changes like the focus. Your focus uh, is a little bit starting to be uh, oriented on the picture. So you see Indiana University on the right side in the corner on the top, it's the University of Arizona, E. Chutes, European Humanities University and Mikos Ramirez University. All of those schools have partner agreements with us and where one year you spend at the UCA, one year you spend at that university, except for University of Arizona, 
With the University of Arizona, we have a second year an online program, but you have an opportunity to go to University of Arizona just for a graduation and maybe internship possibilities. So generally, um, how does it work? If you look on the right side, the, um, the Indiana University provides with the LLM uh, degree opportunity or MJ program. So these are for the students who do not have a uh, law background, who let's say enter with the ICP or economics background, but still needs to get LLM degree. AUCA based on our legal system, we are allowed to provide with LLM degree but Indiana University not. So that's why for such students, they provide with MJs, MJ degree, Master of Jurisprudence, which does not allow to practice law, but still allows you to work in the field and somehow interrelated toward the law. But if you do have a law background, a law background, then you just take LLM degree at Indiana, ACA and in Indiana, and then you can have a chance to apply for a bar exam, which is for license to practice law in the United States. University of Arizona partnership provides an opportunity for students to get AUC LLM degree and University of Arizona a main human rights practice. Majorly, we have such students who really want to work in human rights area. They, they get from AUC all the legal part, but from the University of Arizona, they get the human rights practice courses, the courses which prepare you fully how you want to work in the human rights uh, protection in the international organization and yours. They really give that, that, that skills and knowledge to continue working in that area. And majorly people who choose this option, they're really already practitioners in this field. So as for the Miklos Ramirez University in HU, uh, they are uh, more um, conservative in terms of LM degree, dual degree. They, they take only students with LM or with law background, but still we have a dual degree option with them, those who want to do the European LLM degree. And we also have on the left side, an opportunity for our students to do LLM and MBA program. So you can get two uh, degrees of different speciality. And in this regard, uh, it's, it might have a three additional semesters work or maybe two additional semester work. Exchange programs and competitions. Our university is very, very active in all exchange programs and all international competitions in law that we tried, that, that we can participate. So these are all our students who participated in different international moots such as um, Eurasian Economic Union or Philip Jessup International. Right now they're participating both in Philip Jessup and International Commercial Arbitration this mode. And we're actively sending students to different uh, countries where these moves are taking place, the pre moves taking place. And we have basically uh, tried to get very good scores in Eurasian Economic Union uh, mood to actually receive the second uh, place. Um, on the second one mood. Uh, the exchange opportunities, we have these universities listed um, on the left side. These are the universities where we send our students. Usually we do it during their first year of studies in spring semester because second year is all allocated on draft and their thesis. Yes, we require thesis by the end of the uh, second year to be defended, but we really guide all our students to do to complete it. Um, so usually students have very good organization and have super, supervisor helping them. These are the admission requirements. Uh, generally, we are conduct the uh, English exam, and then you just need to have a package of regular documents with the recommendation letters, the diploma to be submitted to our email. And this is our WhatsApp number, mine, which I'm checking every time and replying to all my questions, to all the questions students have. So thank you.